Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trusting True to Row. Um, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign is very important that all of my Pisces come to this reading and listen. It's not just for Pisces, Sun, you guys. Pisces, Sun, Pisces, Moon, especially. There's an emphasis on Pisces, Moon. There's a lot of readers out there, especially tarot readers, too, that I know that are Pisces, Moon, and, it, and I know that they're going to be coming to this reading. I don't know. I feel like a lot of Pisces that a lot of my you're still a Pisces your moon is in Pisces you're gonna be watching this channel I already know you're gonna be coming to the channel all of my Pisces moon because for some reason lately I've been called to call out a lot of my Pisces that 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 has their Pisces and moon okay it's very important that you listen to these readings it will be helpful and benefit beneficial to you Okay, so Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. So go ahead and hit that like button, you guys. Anything you need to know is in the description box below. I love you guys so much, and thank you so much for trusting me with your truth. You already know that this reading could be a couple days in advance or a couple days behind. It doesn't matter. Whenever you come stumble across this reading is when you're meant to hear it, okay? And I know that it will help and assist you in some way. So let's get into this Pisces. Pisces, you're coming up as a Knight of Pentacles. What's coming towards you is the Ace of Wands. So let me tell you right now what I'm seeing, Pisces, okay? For... When I was shuffling the cards, I kept hearing everything that glitters ain't gold. Everything that glitters ain't gold, baby. Silver and gold. Okay? Everything that glitters ain't gold. <laughs> and let me get into this, okay? Pisces, my Pisces, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. You are or maybe you're trying your best to see something through it's almost like you're trying to stay passionate about something it's almost like you're trying to convince yourself that you are passionate about something that you're not passionate about okay some of you guys maybe you once were passionate about it but you're losing your passion for it so i see that the fact of the matter is is that you are bored okay Let's get straight to it, baby. We're not, I'm not trying to waste your time and have you on this reading for so long. We're going to get straight to the point. You have grown bored. There is apathy here. You're bored. It, there's some type of repetition. You have just grown bored out of your mind, Pisces. You're bored with some type of routine, some type of method, whatever it is that you're producing, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you may have been offering. You're bored. This is so repetitive. It's so repetitive and to the point where you has lost, you lost passion. You, you're not passionate about this. You're not inspired. So what's coming towards you is a creative block, creative stifle, right? The flame. You don't have that passion for it. The flame is out. The flame is went out. Okay, that's what's going on. You just yeah. Your flame is out, Pisces, right? And that's what I'm seeing here. So getting straight to the point. Okay, getting straight to it. I'm not here to waste your time. I'm just here to help you. Pisces, you know that thing that a lot of readers kind of complain when they talk about you, when they say that you're just, oh, Pisces, you're caught up in an illusion. You're just in this fantasy. It's not real. Well, guess what, Pisces? I'm going to need you to get back there. I'm going to need you to get back there. I'm going to need you to get back there, okay? Because some of you guys don't realize that that's your superpower. That's where your all your creativity is. That's literally the money maker for you guys. That's what's going to bring you in clients. That's what's going to bring you in all the money. That's what's going to bring you exactly what it is that you desire. So don't listen to certain people. There's certain there's certain time and places and there is a time. The thing about Pisces with their illusions and their fantasies is knowing to having balance. OK, it's not that you fantasizing and you having this uh, big imagination There's nothing wrong with it. But there do needs to be balance. When I say balance, I'm talking about you need to be practical. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need to bring that pra practical in there, um, logic, logics into it. And sometimes we just completely do away with that. <laughs> OK, that's what they're saying. They're not saying that it's wrong, though. But what I'm seeing here is that Pisces. In order to get out of this creative block, this creative stifle that you're in right now, um, I really feel like it's time for you to start thinking outside of the box. Pisces, you don't limit yourself. You have a lot of options. You have a lot of choices here. There's a lot of things that you can do. There's a lot of things that you, there's, you just have options and choices in front of you. But for some reason, you're not choosing certain things here. It's like you're choosing to stay repetitive, choosing to stay doing the some, something very repetitive, something very... 
I don't know, it's some type of method. You're choosing a certain method and routine that's not allowing you to be creative. That's not allowing you to use your imagination. It's like you're not you're not tapping into that. So Spirit is saying, it's time to think outside of the box, Pisces. This is the time to get caught up in your illusions, Pisces. Expand your horizons, Pisces. Use your imagination, Pisces, because it is going to literally, I, just, I don't even feel like you have to do anything but just that. You don't have to do nothing else but just that. You know what I'm saying? And I really feel like whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you want to see come towards you, that's going to start coming towards you. Think about it. If you're bored, then what are you going to, man, what are you, if you're bored with your life or you're bored with something that you're doing or a routine, what do you think you're going to manifest towards you? What do you think you're, you're going to bring in? Think about it. People that are also bored with something or people that are not interested in something. So it's like, that's the type of energy that's coming out here, right? Get yourself excited. Start tapping into certain things here that, you know, your wildest imagination, your wildest dreams. So be, be, be imaginative and think about certain things that makes you feel creative. And then that's when, boom, your ships are going to come in. You're going to start seeing, you're going to start waking something up inside of you and maybe even other people around you. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like these people were like hibernating or sleeping and that's what's going on. That's just what it is. That is what it is, Pisces. That's what's going on here. So I hope this was able to help and assist you with whatever it is that you have going on. I'll see you guys next time. If you made it to the end of this reading, the first 10 people that that will message me, trusting true to row at gmail.com, I will do a free one question, one answer for you guys. The first 10 people. Love you guys and thank you so much for staying steadfast with me, trusting in me, and believing in me. Mwah.